Okay, last time I had to park my car way down there and I tried to hike up here to Bloomington Lake. This sign, I got to this sign and you can see on the side of it, see those numbers? That's how deep the snow gets to be up here. Now, when I hiked, it was about six feet and there's the six feet mark. And I have already, at this point, I've already hiked six miles from where I had to park my car. Six miles, okay? Now, up here a little ways, I lost the road, couldn't find the road anymore. Hiking through six foot deep snow. Dude, it sucked. It's really windy up here right now. But we're going to see if we can find the lake. When I was up here last time, it was the end of May, and I thought, oh yeah, it's got to be around the next curve, got to be around the next curve. When I get up to where I hiked to and then started hiking back, I'll tell you how many miles I hiked up here through freaking six foot deep snow, four to six feet deep. But we're going to make it to the lake today and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is about where I hiked to last time I was here. Let's, uh, I was somewhere in this area. I remember I hiked up over that hill because I had lost this road, couldn't find it. So I came through that tree and I was hiking towards that mountain peak. And if you watch my other video, you can see that mountain peak, although it's completely covered in snow. And I was about right in here when I turned around to head back. And heading back through six feet of snow going that way, right here is seven miles. So I hiked in seven miles from where I parked my car. Had to hike back out seven miles. I'm thinking and I'm hoping that the lake is just, let me see here, right up, see here's the road. So hopefully it's right up by that mountain. But everything was buried in snow, so I couldn't have found it anyway. Today, we're going to find it. So it looks like I was right. It is at the base of that mountain. I knew it. I knew it. I just I couldn't get there. It was too much snow. And like I said, I thought I might be standing on top of the lake, just buried in snow. But here we are, so let's walk over and check it out. Okay, I gotta tell you, I don't think that it took me as long hiking to get up here as it did driving my car. That road totally, totally, totally sucks. Dude, there's boulders, there's rocks, there's holes, there's ruts. They don't grade it. It is a terrible road. If you're going to come up here, make sure you have a big honking truck with great big huge honking tires because I barely made it in my sucky little car. And I'm going to show you this over here. You won't believe this guy. You see that? Now tell me this. Why would anybody drive a nice car like that on that shitty ass road? That road sucks. Don't do it. I made it farther, faster by walking than driving. Let's go see the lake. Yes, after we parked the car, we still have to hike. You can see I came up from that way. I'm going to tell you, if you're old like I am, don't do it. But second of all, we're almost to the lake. If you are uh, planning to come up here, to Bloomington Lake anytime soon. Make sure that you plan on spending the day because this is a sucker. I mean, it, it's, yeah, spend the day. Bring a lunch, sit down there where you park your car, have a picnic. If you're young, you can carry your picnic up here. But you want to spend the day when you come up here because it is a bugger to get here. We're almost there. Okay, just kind of an overview right here of the lake. It even looks like it's kind of low for, uh, you know, what there is. But there's supposed to be a tree swing, so we'll find that. So as you can see, this lake has no outlet. 
and as you can imagine that all of this water is from the snow melt all the snow melts off these mountains and it just fills up this uh, valley gully whatever you want to call it and this my friends is the lake Bloomington Lake now Danny if you're watching this I know you want to bring your paddleboard up here so if you do bring your paddleboard this is I mean you can paddleboard that's the end of the lake clear over to that end but I, I would suggest you know bringing a picnic lunch and just kind of hanging out for the day got some strange weed circles out here in the lake one there kind of a one there when we were up higher you could see them out in the lake more I think there's a little rock spot right there you could probably sit on that little outcropping um, yeah so what we're gonna do here, I mean, it's peaceful, tranquil, you know, quiet. You could sit here. I'm gonna sit, this pine tree here smells really good. It smells really nice. So I'm gonna sit here for a minute. You could sit down here and meditate, think about life and uh, why it sucks, but, anyway it's kind of pretty it's really quiet i'll try to show you some of the uh, fall colors when we leave some of the trees are turning yellow and orange and red it's real pretty so for now if any of you are a would-be angler don't bring your pole up here because i do not believe you're going to find any fish in this lake <laughs> 